Hello. Today's demonstration will take a look at how a freely falling object's distance changes as it travels through time. A freely falling object has a constant acceleration acting on it, and so while its velocity will change at a steady rate, it will actually increase its distance as time passes because it is falling faster in each successive second. So let's see if the math works out for this. We can see that the ball has dropped a distance of 28 decimeters as marked on the apparatus, or 2.8 meters. The initial velocity of the ball is zero because it was dropped from rest, so it had no initial speed. And if you watch the video enough, you'll see that the time it took the ball to drop is about three quarters of a second. If we apply kinematics equations, uh, this is the equation we would end up using. If we substitute our values in there, the initial velocity times time term would actually end up going away because the initial velocity is zero. So we end up working with this term for the acceleration of the dropped ball. If we crunch those numbers, we end up with an acceleration of approximately 10 meters per second per second, which is pretty close to the accepted value of 9.8 meters per second per second for the acceleration of gravity on Earth.